Okay, we're back in the house. Here's the uh, battery bank. Just 12 6 volt interstate workaholic uh, golf cart, forklift, whatever you want to use them for batteries. I got them off a guy for 100 bucks. They test out at about 90%. I made all my <clears throat> made all my cables. I bought number 2 welding cable, bought my lugs, crimped them, soldered them. Uh, it only cost me about 50 bucks to make them. If you buy them, they're 250 to 300. So you save a lot. And I made a long lead for my power inverter for when I want to expand my bank above and below underneath. And then here is the control panel. There's the AC to DC rectifiers. Uh, they come down. It's a three phase AC motors I'm running. And they come down just with some simple heat sinks. I use 4 inch by 4 inch 16 gauge aluminum with a tin shield behind that. Down to 30 amp fuses, down to my charge controller. There's my dump load. Two ohm resistors, they run 100 watts a piece. But because my batteries are only at 90%, I can never really hurt my battery because it'll only take so many volts. So right now I have all the lights in the basement. A big 36 inch picture t uh, tube TV, that's an energy hog, they're not like an LCD or their energy star. That uses probably 300 watts and I got a lamp going in the family room too. Uh, we're at 12.77, 12.8 volts. That's with everything going on. This is made by Coleman. Coleman Air got it for 115 bucks, it'll handle up to 160 amps. And I don't have my solar hooked up yet, but that'll come right just down up to the relays. They're real simple. They'll go right to the bank. And this will detect, I set my point, my dump load at 13 and a half volts. That's when I start to dump. I don't want to fry my batteries and overcharge them and wreck the plates. My power inverter is a pure sign inverter. It's a Vanner brand. It's a, Vanner, it's a Brutus model. It's a really nice power inverter. It's a pure sign, but it's got a huge heat sink. Big fins, so it self cools. Just wonderful, though. The power, the, you know, the cooling fan never turns on, which is an energy hog. But it works great. We're really happy with this power inverter. Really hard to find. Heavy duty model. Thing weighs about 80 pounds. And then we'll walk to here. Here's the dogs. There's a lamp. It's all off the solar power. The big energy hog 36 pitcher tube. And then I also run my, can't see very well, but I have a corn stove. I run off the windmills too. So you heat the house with corn. It's a 60,000 BTU made by Magnum, American Energy. But there it is, powering the whole house. Not the whole house. Uh, it's just a supplement until I can get a uh, save up to get a real big inverter. But